I found out you were from Hickok the hard way. Many, many moons ago, I saw on television, I referred somebody else as the first family of Kiaka Golf. I was summarily and quickly corrected, not only about your great <laughs> career, but I was told about your late father's, what, double-digit aces in his career? Has golf always been such a huge passion for you and your family? You know, I started playing at uh, Elks Fairview there in Keokuk when I was probably five or six years old, Chris. So, yeah, it's been a lifelong for me. Actually, um, and I've said this many times, I owe a lot of where I am today to golf. Uh, uh, and I guess it played to playing there at the Elks, but I got a scholarship to Illinois State University to play golf. Uh, wound up jumping into their TV program about halfway through. I really enjoyed it. Uh, got a job, got another job, wound up in Chicago. And uh, had I not been on the golf team there, it probably wouldn't have happened the way it has. Those had to be incredible days in Norm because you were there at the same time. Quincy's finest, D.A. Watering, was there. And <laughs> obviously that's a pretty darn good pairing for golf. Well, we did have a lot of fun. And, you know, the last two years, our junior and senior years in high school, we were in the same conference. Uh, or was it that maybe it was just the last year, but everybody was kind of falling apart. We wound up our senior year. I know with a four team conference it was us. Uh, it was Catholic boys back then. And we had Burlington and Ottumwa, Iowa. And those were the four teams in the league. So, I mean, we played golf against each other, well, all, all through high school, but that last year we played against each other all the time. And it's funny. Uh, I was interested in Illinois state because I had a friend who was a year older than me from Keokuk, George Boland, who was a swimmer there. So I went to visit, really liked it, and uh, talked to the golf coach. He was, you know, barely interested in me. And then I, uh, I had a good end of the year. I won the sectional championship in Iowa High School. And uh, the coach called me the next day. Uh, one of my buddies had called him and said, you know, you should take a look at this guy. And he asked me, point blank, he goes, is it true that you beat D.A. Wybring four or five times this year? And I said, yeah. And I didn't embellish it because, you know, one of them was in a snowstorm at Westview Golf Course there in Quincy. And, you know, we played a bunch of golf courses that weren't really very good. You get a bad bounce or two, you're not going to win. Um, obviously, D.A. was a lot better player than I was. But I did come out on top against him a few times. And, uh, Truth be told, that's kind of what won me a scholarship to ISU. I'm told that you were, what, a five-sport athlete at Keokuk? Is that correct? My senior year, I played football and then basketball. Uh, of course, I was on the golf team. Uh, we had summer baseball in Iowa back then. You could take your pick. I think you could play spring, summer, or fall. And at Keokuk, we played in the summer, so I played baseball. And then I was fooling around in gym class one day in the high jump pit. Now, look, I, I couldn't jump over the Keokuk phone book, but I figured out a way to get over that bar, uh, and I, they enlisted me to be a high jumper. So I jumped in all the bigger meets, and I think I finished, like, second every time. So it turned out to be one of my better athletic endeavors there, even though I didn't know what the heck I was doing up there. How much of Keokuk have you kind of carried you? Because I know, obviously, in some – from someplace, always a source of, you know, hometown pride. And there have been really nice moments for Keokuk over the years. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, I, I was all over those two teams, watching them every step of the way just to see how they do. And I was really proud to say that they made it to the Final Four. And when I was a junior in basketball, we made the Final Eight. Uh, so I kind of know what it felt like. And it was really uh, one of the great moments in your high school athletic career to make that a trick, a trek up to Des Moines and play in that tournament. That's where it was back then. It was really fun. So, yeah, I've uh, I've kind of kept abreast of them when they're playing well. And every now and then I'll check some of the websites and see how some of the teams are doing and see if I recognize any of the names anymore. Looking back at this journey, did you find the right field? Was this what you were meant to be? Was this who you were supposed to be, uh, you know, vocationally along the way? I don't know if I was meant to do it. You know, I began as an English major, and I figured I was going to be a teacher, uh, like one of my favorite teachers in high school, Mr. Artman, uh, there at KHS. But, uh, uh, yeah, I was uh, fortunate enough. Somebody asked me during a Christmas break if I was interested in going over to the TV studio because 
they were going to continue to broadcast during the vacation and they needed some help because all the students were out of town. I said, sure, I'll go over there. They're actually paying people to do it. So I went over and did it and really enjoyed it and changed my major right then. But I always had a little bit of an interest in TV. You know, uh, back in the day, uh, we had no cable TV or anything like that when I was a kid. So we got your station. We got Channel 10. Sometimes we would get a Tumwa. And then on these weird atmospheric days, you might get a station from, you know, Detroit or Memphis or somewhere. It would really be weird. So I kind of had an interest in how all that worked. And then, you know, when I got to college and kind of got myself immersed in it, I, it was really interesting to me. And, you know, the next thing that happened, I got on the air there and kind of like that. I'm, on the air is really not my favorite thing to do. But, uh, you know, I guess after 37 or 44 years or whatever the heck you want to call it, it's, it's uh, uh, not so uncomfortable anymore. Being a small town guy and then ending up in maybe the best sports city in America. And obviously, I, I think I know you touch on it, the fantastic golf courses. Just what's that kind of been like in terms of coming full circle, getting a chance to lay out your career? Oh, no question about that. I mean, I worked in Champaign for seven years before I went up to Chicago. And in Champaign, uh, my first job, was I was the Decatur Bureau. I had a couple of film cameras. <laughs> you know, I'm hanging out over the edge of bridges, shooting down into the Staley Company, uh, taking my life into my own hands. Uh, and then I got a weekend sports job there. I told them I wanted to be involved in sports if I could. And the weekend guy was a photographer for UPI and he quit. So I took his job and then one thing led to another. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, we were Cub fans in my family back in Keokuk. So uh, I always had an affinity for them. In fact, uh, after my time in Champaign, I went to Chicago and interviewed at two stations on the same day uh, and had a chance to work at both. And it, I had to wind up picking one over the other. And because of the Cubs association with GN, I, that's where I went. And it's turned out beautiful. You know, my first year there uh, was 84. That's the year the Cubs won something for the first time in 39 years. It's the year Michael Jordan was drafted. It's the year the Bears went to the NFC championship game and then won the Super Bowl the next year. So, you know, I'm like walking into all this stuff. and I'm thinking this is going to be like this every year, which, of course, in Chicago, it's not. But I've seen everybody win now over the course of 37 years. So uh, that in and of itself is pretty special.